Have but, you been but, impressed? But, but one, but one thing I like about him. One thing I do like, like about him. He's he's selling it. He's selling it, and he's making good money, and he's he's entertaining. Floyd Mayweather has just shared his thoughts on his showdown with Jake Paul, stirring up a frenzy among fans as the Tyson Paul fight approaches. With like Logan Paul and then Jake Paul now fighting Mike soon in the summer. What do you think defines a real boxer? Because I feel like people are still confused on if Jake Paul is a YouTuber boxer or a real boxer. How do you feel like you get out of that bubble to make somebody a real boxer? I mean, what, what he's doing is, I mean, kind of cool. If he can if he can continue to steal money and, uh, <laughs> and they match him the way they match him, I can't knock his hustle. So if they can match him the way they, how they've been matching him, more, more power to him. Floyd Mayweather and Jake Paul have been feuding for years, ever since Mayweather dominated Logan Paul in their exhibition bout. As one of the greatest boxers of all time, Mayweather's insight into the upcoming fight is highly anticipated. And now he's weighed in with his prediction. But for, for what he's doing, for what he's doing, as long as they keep getting uh, you, um, YouTubers and and keep putting them in, there, putting them, putting them in there with MMA guys. Yeah. That's you know that's kind of over the hill. He's gonna continue to shine. So I'm proud of him. I'm not, I'm not really. A What's intriguing about Mayweather's prediction is not just that he's chosen Jake Paul over Mike Tyson, but also the long-standing tension with the Paul brothers. Mayweather claims they disrespected him prior to his exhibition fight with Logan Paul. As the fight draws near, opinions are pouring in from all corners. Joe Rogan, on his Happy Punch podcast, even suggested that Mike Tyson vs. Jake Paul could rival the Floyd Mayweather vs. Manny Pacquiao bout, potentially becoming the next fight of the century from a cultural standpoint. I'm just working, man. What happened? You're not tough anymore since your loss? What happened since your loss? Yo, we gonna bust him up, guys? I told you before, put that Yo, let's bust him up. Where you running, Jake? Where you going since your fight? Since you lost? What's up, Jake? Where you going, Jake? Oh, he's running! He's running! Look at him! Jake Paul running, champ! Why is he running? I think because the last time. Culturally, you versus Jake Paul, like this young YouTuber, takes on one of the greatest heavyweight champions that's ever lived. I love that. It sounds good. Hey, oh everybody, my listen. God. Continue, Are you listening to this? <laughs> if he's willing to do it. Joe Rogan is betting on Mike Tyson, despite recognizing Jake Paul's impressive boxing skills. Tyson's raw power, however, is hard to overlook. But Mike, I think Why? I don't, know I don't give a f if he's 55. That's still Mike Tyson. Mike, Mike's in good shape too. Oh my God. Mike trains every day. He trains with Rafael mm. Cordero, who's a legend in MMA. He runs King's uh, Mixed Martial Arts. And Rafael is a world-renowned trainer. When you see him holding the mitts with Tyson, and Tyson smashing the mitts, yeah. like, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, Mike, that guy can still yeah. f*** you yeah. up. He don't, he don't want to fight Mike. In this world, with hormone replacement and vitamins, and, like, and he does all this, like, um, uh, electrical muscular stimulation mm -hmm. recovery stuff. Like, when they were training Mike for that Roy Jones fight, like, they were using state-of-the-art yeah, science. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't give a f think he's 55 years old. That guy will hurt yeah. you. Yeah. Oh. Day one, the fun 
season just begun. While Mike Tyson still delivers a devastating punch with his incredible strength, the age gap minus 58 versus 27 raises questions about the fairness of the match. Yeah, because the, the, here's the thing, he is 57 years old. He, he will be 58 when they fight. He, he has had a long fighting career. He, he has been knocked out by massive men like Lennox Lewis and Evander Holyfield. You know, he's, he's had a lot of blows. And, you know, it's yeah. a long, you know, long past the time where most people... Oscar De La Hoya echoed Joe Rogan's concerns suggesting that this fight could tarnish Tyson's legendary status. As the face of boxing, a loss to someone like Jake Paul could be a disappointing turn for the man once hailed as the baddest on the planet. But uh, I'm just I'm just concerned about, you know, Tyson's legacy. That's it. Yeah, yeah. if Jake catches him with something, he is 57. What, yeah, you, you just don't know. I've never seen a 57-year-old fighter up in the ring you know, against a strong guy, a strong bull like Jake Paul, so it's, um... Is that good or bad for boxing if, if Jake finds a way to knock him out, get it on, beat him? I, I, I think it'll be, I don't think, I think it'll be sad for Tyson. Dustin Poirier shared similar sentiments, emphasizing that at 58, the real concern isn't just about Tyson's legacy, but his health. The physical risks for someone of his age are a significant worry. See that where they fought in like a triangle? Who'd he fight? He actually fought a, a legit boxer. Name escapes me, but like a guy with like 30 fights and beat him. Yeah. Dude, I'm a fan of both. I'm a fan of both. So I mean, I'm more excited about this than the Tyson fight. You know, really? I didn't want that to happen. The guy's 60 years old. Like it's, I didn't want that to happen. And I, hope it, I hope it doesn't. You're, ho you're hoping he gets canceled. Yeah, I don't want to see Tyson go out there and get hurt, man. Right. 60 years old. He's fighting a young guy who's athletic and has the money to put the best people around him and build a camp and like, you know, he's dangerous. Right, right. You, so you like Jake? I don't have anything against him. Yeah, yeah. Anthony Joshua has also expressed worries about Tyson's health and overall well-being. Uh, Mr. Paul and Mr. Tyson, which one do you think is going to win? The only thing I'm worried about is father time. That's one thing that has never been beat. Yeah. And Tyson, he's, he's older now. But um, I pray that he comes out healthy. But I think, I think Jake Paul because of youth. That's the only thing because of the youth. Conversely, figures like Nate Diaz and Tyson Fury believe Mike Tyson still has the edge over Jake Paul. They argue that while Jake Paul brings youth and stamina, Tyson's strength and experience could be decisive. Jake Paul is fighting Mike Tyson. Yeah. Bit strange. Well, I, I suppose that's my opinion on the whole thing. I, I thought when it, when it was announced, if I was honest, I thought it was quite fun, a bit of a spectacle. However, uh, Mike Tyson is 57 years of age. We've now found out they're not going to have any head guards. Now, we can see Mike Tyson look like a beast on pads. That's one thing, right? But I suppose... Is it not a little bit alarming? We know that punch resistance won't be what it is. We're now hearing it may be a professional sanction bout. I mean, we know that Tommy was hoping for a fight with Jake Paul. What do you make of it all? You know, I think it's fantastic for boxing. Um, you know, you've got a legend in Mike Tyson. You've got a, a YouTube boxer who's come into the game and blew it up and he's got millions of followers and millions of views and millions of eyes. Good, bad or indifferent. Some people love him, some people hate him. So I think it's a really good spectacle for, for boxing. It brings a lot of people to the game. And listen, who am I to say, oh, Mike Tyson shouldn't be boxing or Jake Paul shouldn't be boxing. Good luck to them. They're both going to make what I call a shit ton of money out of it. So isn't that what it's about? 80,000 fans. I mean, what a spectacle it'll be. Yeah, I've been, I've been to that uh, stadium when Billy Joe fought Canelo. It's a great stadium. Um, Another key factor for Mike Tyson is his mindset. He's fully in savage mode. His recent interview reveals his intense preparation and focus as he gears up for the fight. Nate, what, what do you give me there? Doc tag? What is that? That's the soldiers, baby. You already know what's up. The soldiers, nice. From Charles Rosa, uh, UFC veteran. Hey, hey, hey. Real quick, real quick, everyone wants to know your take, man. Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, who you got? No, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, all day. Even Jake Paul admitted to being intimidated by Mike Tyson. As he heads into the fight, Paul is determined not to underestimate the formidable Kid Diamond. 
Tyson. Really? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I I'm sorry. I don't see how how Jake pulls this off. Uh, I see Mike Tyson punching him in the body, and I I don't see how Jake stops that. Hmm. Jake is not of the size to give Mike a problem. Mike can be, you know, big guys would hold Mike. Guys with long reach that outweigh him. Yeah. Um, I think people that's Mike's weight with Mike's center, center of gravity. I don't. I don't think there's anything that's gonna stop him. Um, Mike hits him in the body. The body don't move that much. I. Uh, I don't see how Jake survives a body attack. Personally. Okay, I looked it up. Mike Tyson is 220 pounds. That's one pound less than his optimal weight. And Jake Paul is about 200 pounds. He's got about 20 pounds. Are difference. you kidding me? He's only 200. Yeah. Oh, gee. It's worse than I thought. That was his last fight. That's what he weighed in at. Yeah. Oh, boy. That means, I mean, because, I mean, he he fought Tommy Fury um, at, he was 200 pounds when he fought Tommy Fury? Six foot one. Mike is what, five foot ten? Let me see. Huh. He's six one? Five foot I ten, don't... yeah. Five foot ten. So he's got three inches but, on I him. I mean, I know, I Three inches for Mike Tyson is not a big deal, obviously. But mm. Tyson is 57. And okay. I don't care. <laughs> As we wrap up, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Can the problem child overcome Iron Mike? Or will Tyson's experience and strength dominate over youth and stamina? Share your predictions in the comments. Thanks for watching. And we'll catch you in the next video. Quick change of subject just for Key's sake. <laughs> Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. You're raising well. Man. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. Yeah. That's it. Mike Who Tyson. you got and why? <laughs> I have in that fight? Mm-hmm. If it's a real fight. If it's I, a real if fight. If it's a real fight, I have Mike Tyson and I believe it's a disrespectful question. Okay. <laughs> That's how much you believe in 58-year-old Mike Tyson. I don't care if he was 85-year-old Mike Tyson. Right. You, I said, you saw the clips. You both said <laughs> saw the clips. I see, saw the clips. You see you said the clips. We see that? The same well, thing. Man, dude, face look like a square again, man. Man, all I'm saying is those, if one of those, just them workout, if one of them hit anybody, <laughs> let alone Jake Paul.